Hello students, what is going on? Myself is Mo Abdullah Momin from KMES English Medium High School and Junior College. And in this lecture, we are going to study about mathematical expressions of a wave. So what we have learned in our previous lecture, let us quickly see that topics. First, we have seen the introduction part of this sound chapter. Next, we have seen that the common properties of all waves like amplitude, wavelength, time period, frequencies and some other properties. Then we have seen that progressive wave and the characteristics of progressive wave. After that we have studied there are two types of progressive wave. One is transverse wave. So we have seen the definition and characteristics of transverse waves. After that, we have seen the definition and characteristics of longitudinal wave. Now, in this chapter, we are going to study about the mathematical expressions of the wave. Means, if you have to wave ko equation, se describe karna hai, aap kaise describe it. So, let us describe a progressive wave mathematically. Since it is a progressive wave, means it is continuously traveling. We required a function of both position that is x and time t. Means if it is a progressive wave, it is continuously traveling in a given medium. That means the position is keep changing with time. This function will describe the shape of the wave at any instant of time. Next, another requirement of the function is that it should describe the motion of the particle of the medium at that point. Means if a wave is continuously traveling in a given medium, that means the particles of the medium is moving continuously. And if these particles are moving continuously, so we need a function to describe their motion. So we will use the sinusoidal progressive wave that means we are going to use a sinusoidal function. Sinusoidal function means sine function and cos function. Sine function and cos functions are called as sinusoidal function. Now let us assume that the progressive wave is transverse. Means it is a transverse wave. There is crust and trough when a wave travels in a medium. So the position of the particle of the medium is described by a fixed value of x. Means the position is described by x and the displacement from the equilibrium position can be described by y. And the displacement of the particle is described by y. So let us see how it is going to describe Now suppose if a wave is continuously traveling, since it is a progressive wave, it is continuously traveling and this wave is traveling in positive x direction. This x axis is time axis, means as time changes, the wave changes its position and this y axis is displacement axis. Now suppose a particle is at this position when wave travels in forward direction, this particle will move up and down. That means its position along x-axis does not change, but its displacement along y-axis keep on changing. So y-axis will describe the displacement which changes with time, but if it is a transverse wave, the particle does not cover any distance along x-axis. Means its position on x-axis will be fixed. Suppose the particle is at this point. So this particle is going to move in upward and downward direction since it is a transverse wave. So at any instant of time, the position of this particle on x-axis does not change. But its position on y-axis keep on changing. And that position on y-axis is called as displacement. So displacement is denoted by y, which keeps on changing. 
but its position which is along x axis does not change at all the position means the distance from origin and the dis on y x axis and displacement means the position from equilibrium position along y axis so this particle is vibrating along y axis is it is oscillating along y axis so its displacement keeps on changing but its position will remains same so now let us see the dis equation of progressive wave equation mathematical expression of progressive wave equation so it can be written as y is equal to xt means y which is displacement is a function of x that is position and time is t is equal to a sin kx minus omega t plus y so where a is the amplitude sin is the sinusoidal function k a and omega phi are constant now let us see the justification for writing this equation at a particular instant say time is t0 so we can write y is equal to x t0 a sin kx minus omega t0 plus phi and this is nothing but phase which is constant the shape of the wave as a function of x is a sine wave also a fixed location means its position is fixed that is x is equal to x0 so y is equal to x0 t a sin k x0 minus omega t plus y so now we can say that this point will be fixed so a sin is equal to constant minus omega t hence the displacement to y at x is equal to 0 varies as a sine function sine function means it is a wave it will be vary like this this means that the particle of the medium through which the wave travels execute simple harmonic motion means the particle are performing simple harmonic motion about its equilibrium position in addition x must increase in the positive direction as time increases so as to keep kx minus omega t plus phi a constant so thus the equation 8.4 means this equation represent a wave traveling along a positive x axis and a wave is represented by y is a traveling wave which is traveling in negative x axis so y is equal to x t is equal to a sin k x minus omega t plus phi this is the mathematical expression of a progressive wave here a k omega and phi are constant and the symbols in this equation that is y x t is the displacement y is the displacement to so displacement as a function of position and time a is the amplitude of the wave omega is the angular frequency of the wave k is the angular wave number so k x not minus omega t plus phi is the argument of the sinusoidal wave and is the phase of the particle at x at time t so this term k x not minus omega t plus phi is nothing but the phase of the particle ye jo term hai equation mein bracket mein k x minus omega t ye phase hai sin sinusoidal function hai a amplitude hai y is the displacement as a function of position and time so this is the mathematical expression for progressive wave. this equation is nothing but progressive wave equation
सो दैट्स इट स्टूडेंट थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच सी यू सोन